Hello, Andrew here again, and in this video I'll be explaining the differences between cast and forged irons. The difference between cast and forged irons is the way they are manufactured. Casting involves pouring liquid metal into a mould to create the shape of the head. With forging, it involves taking a solid block of metal and knocking the metal into shape. Up until the early 1970s, forged steel club heads accounted for more than 90% of all irons. Although they were less forgiving and more expensive than cast irons, they were considered high quality and had a better feel and gave you greater ability to control the flight of your ball. With the introduction of perimeter weighted or cavity back designs, casting increased in popularity as using a mould was the only way they could create the complex shape of the head. For those of you who are not familiar with the term cavity back, please watch our gu uh, video guide to understanding the difference between cavity back and muscle back irons which will fill you in. Now although casting was cheaper than forging, there were some initial problems with air bubbles getting into the moulds, meaning quality was inconsistent for a number of years. With the advancements in manufacturing technology, today a lot of these differences no longer exist. Both casting and forging produce a consistently high quality club head and the manufacturers are now offering much more forgiving forged clubs. Many players still say you do get a softer feel from a forged head when striking the ball, however feeling is very subjective. The two main differences today comes down to cost and customisation. With cost, cast irons are still cheaper than forged. With customisation, forged clubs are being continuously bent to adjust the lie angle and loft with minimal risk of the club breaking, unlike the cast club which can only handle a few adjustments. Most players change their setup and their posture throughout their golfing life, so Forge Clubs gives you the flexibility to continually adjust the club for these changes. So if you narrow down your choice of clubs, and it's a matter of going with a cast or a forged iron, as long as you are happy to pay the extra money, I would suggest going with a forged iron to give you that ability to make ongoing adjustments to it for years to come. I hope this has helped, and we look forward to seeing you next time.